Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, James May. You're kind of low. Let your producers know that, but I'm still excited that you're here on the Valder BB show. Well, I'm very excited to be here, there, wherever I am. I'm just I'm slightly unclear, but anyway, hi. <laughs> That's okay. I'm in Dallas, Texas, sunny South Dallas, as we call ourselves. Yes, I've been there, actually, a few times. Oh, it's a nice city to visit. But you've got a lot yes, going it is. on. You've got Grand Tour on Amazon. Tell us about that. Well, it's a, a, it's difficult. It's always difficult to describe what it is. It's sort of three blokes who ought to know better, really, um, going around the world, trying out some cars, having some adventures, falling out, and then going home again and talking about it in a tent for a bit. Does that make sense? <laughs> well, it probably doesn't, does it? <laughs> well, it's a guy thing. I really understand it. I'm married to the to the to to the uh, perfect guy, so I understand guy stuff. In a sense, different from girls, well, stuff, but we like it. Well, no, I think I, it is. I mean, it, it is a sort of guy thing, but I think it's sort of for girls as well. We think about fifty percent of our audience is women, thankfully, and they've generally got more sense, as we know. So we're quite sort of we're, we're quite gratified that we've scored so well with the sisterhood. That's correct. We we like watching you guys do this, but I see some of the things you do. Tell, tell me how it is to uh, uh, make these travels and to live so um, so rough. Sometimes I've seen it. Well, yeah, occasionally, yeah. You mean when we have to do a bit of camping or sleeping underneath a car or something like that? That's yeah. I mean that that is pretty rough, but it's part of the experience of keeping it real. And we balance that out with some extremely luxurious hotels with foot massages and spas and so on. Actually, that's not really true. But sometimes we do get a bed. Well, let me ask you, who, the, who conceived the idea? Did you just step into the show, or was it your idea? Um, well, it sort of evolved out of an, an earlier programme that we used to work on on the BBC, and that evolved out of an earlier version of itself, which was on the BBC with different people. It goes all the way back to the 1970s, actually, but the original show it was very, very different from the one you see now. The original one was quite serious and had people driving second-hand cars and talking about the prices of them and that sort of thing. We don't really do that because we don't know, apart from anything else. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, its origins are mired in time and history and the grey fog of human understanding. What's the most exciting thing about doing a uh, grand tour on the Amazon? What's the, what's the most exciting part? Because the entire series is exciting to me. Yeah, well, it's all pretty exciting. I suppose, I suppose the thing that excites me personally the most is that I get to go to bits of the world and see them and explore them, and they are places that I otherwise would never have seen. I mean, I, I don't kid myself. If I'd gone in a different direction in life, which I quite easily could have done, I wouldn't have gone to the rainforest in the North Pole, and I wouldn't have driven across the desert in Nevada, and I wouldn't have driven across Mongolia. I just I don't think it would have even occurred to me even if I'd had the opportunity. So I think that's the most exciting thing about it. Um, and we're doing it so that you don't have to. This trek across the world, is it just for us vicariously to go with you, or is it to inspire us to take our own trek across the world? What's the purpose? Well, I, I think it's the first. I think it's so vicariously you can enjoy the things that we've done without having to stay in the tent and, and get drowned and so on. Um, I don't, I'm not sure that we would... I hope it does inspire people. We know that some trips that we've made, other people have then picked up on and said, I'm going to go and have a go at that in an old car or on a, on a small scooter or a moped or something. But um, I don't think we'd be... We wouldn't be pretentious enough to think we are an inspiration. That sort of thing is for gurus and religious leaders and great politicians, not, not us three. Well, I think, I think you guys might fall into one of those categories because from what I've read about the statistics of who's watching... Millennials are doing exactly what you guys are doing, and I'm sure that that 
that is an inspiration to them. So I'm going to keep watching. I'm not a millennial, but I'm going to keep watching because I love the adventures that you guys take. When you guys want me to watch? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'd love that. And I mean, if we are an inspiration to to the to the younger people, then th that's very flattering, and I'm very proud. And that's something that was worth doing. I hope you're right, and I hope it's true. That's tremendous. <laughs> so, when you guys want us to watch, so we can be inspired. Uh, yeah. Why not? When? When? Yes, please. You can watch us on Amazon Prime as much as you like. That's the beauty of it. You can rewind it and start again as many times as you like, if you can bear it. Okay, I like that. And we will be watching so we can get some inspiration in our own lives. Guys, you can go there. I'm talking to my audience. You guys can go there. You told me you're watching it already. Stay with it. I'm sure you're going to love it. I want to thank you so much, James May. You are a... Uh, you're a globe trekker. Thank you so much for being on the Valder BB show. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure.